Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix this error that is EA app is not installed and is required to play your game. Please reinstall EA app. So if you're receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. Now the first step is to make sure date, time and time zone is correct on your computer. So on the bottom right, over here you can see the date and time, make a right click on date and time and then click on adjust date and time. And then make sure set time zone automatically and set time automatically. Both are on over here and then click on sync now. Now sync now is important. So make sure that you click on sync now. If the sync is, if the sync is failing, in that case, you can click on sync now multiple times. And once that is synced, now you can go to language and region and make sure the right country, your country is selected over here. And then launch the game and then check. Next step is to, you can try this workaround, close EA process in task manager. So make a right click on the start menu and then click on task manager. Now find EA services, EA process over here, make a right click and then click on end task. Now find for any other EA services running here. You can see EA background service, make a right click, then click on end task. Now once that is done, now turn off set time automatically and try changing the date to before or after the current PC date. So make a right click on the date and time over here and then click on adjust date and time and turn off this option which says set time automatically turn this off now once this once this is off you can click on change and set the date and time manually or you can type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel and then go to clock and region and then click on date and time now over here click on change date and time now you can select the day before you can try 26 or 27 so you can try the before dates so you can try 26 or 28 so i'll try 27 now you can even try 29 20, 30 so you can just go for before or after date and then check now click on ok then click on apply click on ok and once you change the time now start ea Now, once EA app is open over here. Now, once EA app is open, now close all the EA process in task manager once again. Make a right click on the start menu, then click on task manager. And then select EA, all the EA services. Make a right click, then click on end task. And find EA background service. If you find it, click on end task. Now, once that is closed, now turn on the set time automatically. So make a right click, click on adjust date and time and then turn on set time automatically. And once this is done, close this. Now restart EA app. And once EA app is open, now you can launch the game and then check. Still you are receiving the error message in that case, repair EA app. Now to repair EA app, Type in EA app in Windows search box and then make a right click on EA app and then click on open file location. Now over here you can see EA app recovery. Make a right click and then click on run as administrator. Click on yes to allow and then click on clear cache. So first of all, we will clear the cache for EA app and then we will go for repair. This will restart EA app. And once this is done, now you can try to launch the game. Still you are receiving the error message, then you can repair the EA app. Now for this, type in control panel in Windows search box and then click on control panel. Now click on uninstall a program and then select EA app and then click on uninstall. Now, before you do this, close EA app. So launch the game after the app recovery. If that does not work, close EA app, make a right click on the EA app, then click on uninstall, click on yes to allow, and then click on repair over here. Do not click on uninstall, click on repair. It will install the EA app once again. And once the repair is done, now you can try to launch the game. Now, still you are facing the error message. In that case, 
Close the game. If the game is running, close the game. Make sure the EA app is open on your computer. So this time, and this is for if you if you are launching the game from Steam or maybe a big games launcher, open the EA app in the background. Make sure EA app is open. And once EA app is open, now launch the game from Steam. You can go to Steam and then launch the game. And if you have the game on Epic Games Launcher, you can go to Epic Games Launcher and launch the game when you have the EA app open in the background and then check. Next step is to add EA folder and game folder to the exclusion list. Now for this, you can open Windows settings. Now, if you have Windows 10, 11, click on privacy and security in Windows 11, click on privacy and security in Windows 10. You will have an option update and security in Windows 10. Click on update and security. In Windows 10, Privacy and Security. Now click on Windows Security. Now click on Virus and Threat Protection. And then under Virus and Threat Protection, click on Manage Settings. And scroll down here, you can see Exclusion. Click on Add or Remove Exclusion. Click on Yes to Allow. And you can add an exclusion for EA app and the game folder. So select folder and then go to uh, program files in C drive. So open C drive program files and then select all the EA folder. Again, select folder over here and select the second folder. Again, folder, select the third folder, electronic arts folder. Once this is added, now click on uh, again, select folder. And then go to the game installation folder. If the game is installed in C drive, you can go to C drive. If the game is installed in some different drive, uh, you can go to other drive. And then select the game folder. This is just an example I'm showing for FC24. You can select your game over here and then click on select folder. Once the game and the EA app folders are added, now you can launch the game and then check. Now the next step is to uninstall EA app using Revo uninstaller. So you can get the Revo uninstaller from in the Google. You can type in Revo uninstaller and install the free version. It's available for free. So you can install the free version and then open Revo uninstaller. Now, once you have Revo uninstaller open, click on yes to allow and then find EA app in the list. Make a right click on EA app, then click on uninstall, click on continue. Now make sure that you close the EA app. Let me close the EA app first. Then click on uninstall. Now once the uninstall is done, close this. Now select advance over here and then click on scan. And then select all and then click on delete. Yes. Again, select all delete. Yes. Now restart your computer. Make sure that you restart your computer after this. And after the system restart, you can go to EA website. You can go to EA website. And then download and install the EA. Now, once this is installed, now you can launch the game. Now, the next step is to create a new Windows admin account. Now, if nothing works, this should work. This has worked for many players, so it might work for you. So you can create a new Windows user account. So for this, you can open Windows settings. Now, go to uh, go to accounts, click on accounts and then scroll down and then Click on other users over here and then let me check. Now you can go to family. You can even go for family or maybe other user. So let me check. Let's go to family. 
click on add someone else to this PC and let us check no no so go back to accounts and then this time select other users not the family click on other users then click on add account and then click on now if you want to create a Microsoft account you can create if you don't want click on I don't have this person sign in information and then click on add a user without a Microsoft account now you can name this user you can create any username you can just name it whatever you want and this is just an example and then create a password if you want and then select your privacy questions and answer the privacy question this is just an example and then click on next and once this is created now click on this down arrow and then click on change account type and then select administrator over here and then click on ok and this is my new user account that is test now click on the start menu and then you can click on this profile icon the username and then you can select the new created account so this is the account which I created click on it enter the password login if you if you're required to install e app install e app if you want if you are required to reinstall the game reinstall the game install the game and then launch the game so creating a new windows admin account should help you to launch the game and you should not receive this error so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get rid of this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel